how to make or how I made a cutting board and matching cheese knife. Let's get into it. I started with a slab of curly cherry, cutting a piece down to about 15 inches by 15 inches. Then I used the planer to flatten the cut piece, as well as an off cut I'll use for the knife later. Once prepped, I found the center point of the square. and also roughed in where I'd put the handle. With a trim router and a circle cutting jig, I used three passes to cut the circular shape from the cherry blank. With the board portion cut out, I used a paint sample lid I thought an appropriate size to mark out the handle. Then used a jigsaw to cut away the excess and rough in the shape. With that done, I sanded away any roughness. Then used a 1 and 3 8 inch Forstner bit to clear the handle hole, making sure I didn't cut all the way through to avoid tear out. With that done, I used a half inch round over bit to soften and refine the edges. Next, I used Starbond's medium thick black super glue and accelerator to fill a few surface cracks slash knots. Then I used a rounded plunge bit to add the texture to the handle before giving it a finishing level sand down. Next, the knife. Using the previously prepared scrap wood blank, I used a compass to draw the top edge curve. Before using the bandsaw to cut out the shape. Once the knife was roughed out, I turned to hewning the blade. I started by marking the middle third of the blank on the blade end. Then remove the excess with the bandsaw, cutting perpendicularly first, then at an angle to begin developing the sharpened edge. I finished sharpening the edge and tidying the saw marks with a low grit sand down. In the hard to reach places, I used the carving knife to fine tune the shape. And again, use the rounded plunge bit to add the handle texture. One final sand down and it was time for finish. I used a food safe wood block sealant. Let those cure for 72 hours. And that's a wrap.
bon appétit. Until next time.